Okay, down here. Yes, it's recording. I can see it. I actually started it with the remote and I can go through the menus and change settings with the remote without it locking up. Sometimes it locks up when you mess the button I don't like. Uh, <clears throat> that's a good thing. That That's actually easier than, you know, either trying to do the touch screen or fiddling around with the buttons on the camera. See, I had it aimed at me. I had the screen turned towards me where I can see myself and I set it the way I wanted it. And, uh, well, I'm waving my hands around, so that's good. I'm in the 4K, ultra, I think it's called UHD Ultra HD. <laughs> there you go. There's a nice real cough. <clears throat> uh, I'm using my dual lapel. Uh, the sound, the, the onboard mic sounds horrible on this thing. It cuts out and does weird sounds. I tried my old uh, single lapel, and it was okay, but it seemed a little distorted. And I had it on my shirt like I always do. So now I haven't, this is the first time I've tried my uh, dual lapel. And I did, I set the color <clears throat> to uh, vivid. The standard color is just too white. and uh, But right in the preview, I can't, you know, it's really small, but it still looks too white to me. Uh, my head is just, you know, a white shining mass i do have some hair up there but uh and I, this pillow i need it for my neck it gets tired um but i can see, you know it's pretty it's a beige color it probably kind of brings up more white out more white but uh <clears throat> we'll see um I, that's the way i recorded my last video that i was going to compare to this one over the USB and it looked to me like I set it to vivid colors and recorded that video and it looked like it hadn't changed it looked too white still to me in my preview on my computer I haven't watched the video back yet but uh, I just realized I have my I'm not using the computer in this but let's go ahead and, go ahead and uh, <clears throat> close OBS studio um, so this is not going through OBS, not going through the computer at all, just recording onto the SD card and uh, using my double lapel mics. I don't, I hope, I'm hoping that these, uh, they do seem to just, uh, I think because there's two mics going through the same, well, there's two wires until you get down to the connector, but going uh, through the same connection, it seems like they're, they need a little more gain to get them loud enough. So hopefully that'll be just right for this thing because it did distort, especially if I, put my head down towards the mics. I could try to wear them lower. I'd have to wear a button shirt to get them, you know, to clip them anywhere else though. But, uh, <clears throat> um, that's all I want out of this is, uh, I'm going to do, and I'm going to try different resolutions. I want to compare the supposed 4k at 48 me megapixels to, uh, it's all, it, the, the CMOS, I'm saying this every time, the CMOS sensor in this camera is 13 megapixels. And they try to bump it up with software, but it doesn't really work. You can see it. I mean, 40, a 48 megapixel 4K camera, you know, that could do that, you would not see any graininess whatsoever. It would be so sharp, it would cut you. And uh, there's no video that I've made so far that's anywhere near sharp, period. So, uh, definitely false advertising. Um, I don't even think that, I don't think that it's even technically true that they're getting, you know, that they're getting 48 megapixels. You can, uh, when you record a video, whatever you put in the metadata, you know, whatever the camera puts in the metadata, that's what the programs on your computer are going to read. I checked them and it's like, oh yeah, it does say, you know, whatever I set it on. But then I realized, well, yeah, they can, uh, that's an old trick. You know, they do that with SD cards too, you know, they report to be, you know, whatever, 128 gigabytes or something in there. You run a tester on them to find out what's really there, or you run them until they fill up and they crash, you know, or, uh, well, some people say they crash something, I forget what, but um, I've never had, luckily, been blessed not to have, something's gone wrong with this <laughs> remote, and I'm getting this extracted. Oh, the, uh, I don't know if that's the, no, that, there's not something that you should peel off on there still. It looks like the, you know when the when you don't peel the plastic off the front of something. I think it's just the actual cover plastic cover for it is kind of damaged. But anyway, um, 
the uh, any of those SD cards, uh, you know, they'll uh, they'll be four gigabyte SD cards or something, and they say they're sixty fours and stuff like that. Uh, they 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 uh, get into the firmware and and you know fake it in there. They write they lie about it, so it reports to a computer that it is that when it's not. Um, <clears throat> I have just bought some new ones, and hopefully they're okay. Uh, I did not. You can either just run them till they fill up and find out, or you can. This one's in my security camera outside, and I'd have to take it out and when it's and check it. These I haven't tried yet, but uh, see, one of them's in that camera though. One of which card is in the camera? Oh yeah, the new one's in the camera. It's a. Uh, I don't know if the number's on here or not. WinTech. Hmm. That 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 adapter's in there, and I don't think yeah that WinTech is what's in one of my phones. The ones that I bought, three of them, they're Micro Center 128 gigabytes. That's why that wasn't in the case because it doesn't belong in that case. I put it in there. Well, I guess that's fine because I think uh, well that may I would I I wonder where the adapter is for that. Maybe I had to use the adapter in the camera. Yeah, I guess the camera takes a full size instead of a micro, so it must be in the camera. Okay, well I'm going off now. I don't, I don't know if I think I just mashed the, you know, this remote. It's really wonky. It's some some things work and some don't. Some things lock up the camera, so I don't want to do that. Might probably break my video if it locks up. But the blue button that looks like a you know picture a drawing of a video camera. Is the one I started it with, so I should be able to stop it with that. And there's a bigger red one, and it does shut the camera down. It's supposed to turn it on, but I, I tried it the other day, and it wouldn't. It turned it off, but it wouldn't turn it back on. So it's one for the light, but I think I still I know it has infrared light because I've turned that on before. But I thought it, when I first bought it that it had a regular light too, like a flashlight. But I don't know if it does now. I can't remember if I ever got it to do that. Okay, so I've had it a few months now and tried it out for, uh, you know, a while and then uh, didn't touch it for a couple of months. So I've only got it out yesterday or day before yesterday and today. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to change the resolution. I'm thinking that what will work best for me, uh, because like if you move, you probably you may see <clears throat> that it's choppy in the 4K. Uh, if I put it on... Uh, the menus don't say 1080p, 720p like they should. They say like UHD and Q UHD or something. I don't know what all it says. I can't even remember. So I don't really know. I want 1080p and 60 frames per second. It's supposed to have 1080p at 60 and at 30. And so I want to try 60 frames at 1080p because then if it works right, you should be able to really move the camera fast or shoot a moving fast moving object and have it look good, not be jerky. But it still shouldn't be really grainy. And from what I remember, I really couldn't see any visible difference like a sharper video at 4K at the 4K setting than at 1080p. Uh if I can remember. Of course, if you opened it up on your computer, you could see that there were different sizes, you know. But uh I'm streaming. I'm going to use this for streaming mostly. And I stream at 1080p, so, but I have not, I don't think it will, because I just did a video, a long one. I set it on 4K and streamed over the, you know, over the USB to the computer, and it still did it. The top resolution it was due is 1280 by what, 1270 or 1280 by whatever, just like it did when it was on, actually, I thought I had it on 1080p 30 frames, but I think I had it on 720, so I don't think, I think they're independent of each other. So anyway, let's try stopping this.